All right, check this out. It's about 2.57 in the morning. It's sad that I'm over in China. Damn near lost my life. And you motherfuckers have the audacity to still make up lies. Make up lies about me being in China. Are you really that mad that I'm successful? Are you really mad that I really serve Christ despite my stumbles where I may fall? You guys use the word crazy to identify someone, to label someone, to discredit someone. So I'm asking you this question. For all you people out there that know the truth, for the people in my past camp that know the truth, how does it feel to know that you deny Christ? How does it feel when you know when you die, you got to go face judgment and you got to say, you know what? I lied on your prophet. <laughs> Did y'all forget that we're in a world, that we're in a universe? Hello? We're on an earth, <laughs> little people. And y'all want to sit up here and tear people down. We're supposed to love one another and care for one another. The only nigga that hit me up out of my group was, what, Jay Boog? Because he a real nigga. We're recognized real. I respect you, Boog. You already know what it is. For all these years, my nigga, I've tried to protect everybody. Protect the information. Protect everything. And guess what people do? They keep pushing me. They keep forcing me. Marcus Houston, you're a bitch, my nigga. That's why your movie, you and Chris's movie flop. Y'all gonna come out, y'all gonna try to discredit me and say I look like Eddie Kane? Y'all niggas is crazy. Oh, next thing, oh, uh, who are you gonna say? Uh, God did something to you? Now you're making a mockery of God? Come on, bro. Are you for real? Go, go look yourself in the mirror really, and really tell yourself that I'm lying. Come on, are you for real? How, you, how do you live with that, bro? I'm happy, I'm free. You know why? Because I told the truth. These spirits, these demons, they're not on me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, they, they would love to try to take me out, but guess what? It's not time for me to go. You feel me? It's like even when y'all took me in and we, we did the whole the, the retraction tape and all of that stuff, like still, like I wore my heart on my on my shoulder and y'all still took advantage of me. Still. Still. I told Chris years ago that I'll be the person to stand in the gap for him. And guess what I did? Because if it wasn't for me, it would be a lot of different things that would be different right now. And Chris knows what I'm talking about. Amari, I love you, bro. I pray to God that you you find Christ, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I wish, you know, things didn't have to be publicly, you know what I'm saying? But the world wants to know. So you can't go around and just keep lying to people, man. How do you, I mean, what are you, you going to do? But see, like I said, fake niggas run with fake niggas. You know what that means. You know what I'm saying? But like I always told y'all, it didn't matter. I would love to see B2K back together with me or without me. It didn't matter. I don't care. Because, you know, only way it's going to really come back together and be successful in God's eyes is if you guys do it right and do it the way Christ would want it. Not the way the devil wanted it. Y'all could have Puffy, this person, that person, this person on your album. It don't matter. You can sell 10 million records. It still ain't going to matter because you're doing it for the world. Now, like you say, or like us brothers, we say, oh, we had a relationship beside the business. Okay, that means we had love. God is love. So there's no love. There's no love, obviously. You feel me? Because you're going to sit up here and deny your own brother. So y'all going to look yourself in the mirror and you're going to tell me that I'm lying? I'm lying about what? I'm lying about what happened to me with Chris and Marcus? I'm lying? All right, cool. That's cool. I'm telling you, you know the truth, bro. Bottom line, you know the truth. So do me a favor. Stop making up all these fake-ass lies. It don't do nothing to me. It is not, it's not hurting my money over here. Not at all. All it's doing is making y'all look bad. Because... What's so sad is I overshadow you guys every time. <laughs> every time. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. It doesn't matter if I put out a cheap little video that I made with a with a with an iPhone camera. Like, come on, my nigga. Y'all niggas is whack. Y'all niggas over there wasting money. Y'all niggas ain't doing nothing new. Do something new, my nigga. All y'all, do something new. Step your game up. And all you motherfucking blogs, shame on you. Y'all niggas, like, what is this? Like, are y'all in the business of reporting news or y'all in the business of manufacturing? news and that's why i don't report to none of you motherfuckers because none of you niggas are credible <laughs> all you niggas going around retweeting and then sending out shit that somebody else wrote nigga like oh yeah tmz said yeah because none of you niggas are credible none of you niggas are credible nigga get your facts straight first how the fuck Raz B gonna be out here in china with billboards everywhere and i'm 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 i'm, I'm supposed to be in fucking jail for molesting a kid i would never touch a kid but chris stokes is so jealous that camp is so jealous them niggas didn't even want to help me when I had a number two selling single in the country, fire. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? Well, I'm telling you now, Icebox didn't make it number two. I had the number two selling single in the country in 2007. And my own cousin still didn't want to help me. It's cool. I never asked the niggas for nothing. I left, left the group, kept everything simple. Guess what? The niggas start reaching out to me. Start fucking with me. 
Because y'all need me. Y'all need my energy to move forward. Y'all need me. You need me. That's why you guys keep saying my name. Because you need me. You need the God in me. Because you niggas don't know God. And if you did, you wouldn't do what you're doing to me. Bottom line. I'm not perfect. I cuss. I do this. I drink. or whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. God knows my heart. God knows my sacrifices. God knows at the end of the day, I'm going to choose him and not the devil. So that's why I walked away from B2K. That's why I walked away from this world. We shit. This industry. Come on, my nigga. Y'all niggas know the truth, but y'all want to act, to act blind to it. So hopefully hopefully it saves your soul. That's what it says. What profit, what profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Like, get it. I mean, not, not so much the scripture. Just get the wisdom between that. You lose, you lose your soul fucking around trying to like, you feel me? I'm not no religious nigga, but I believe in all kind of stuff. You feel me? And I believe in that message. Like, how you gonna lose your life and lose yourself behind trying to do this and do that? It's crazy. So, y'all take this video. Y'all do what y'all want to do. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the next motherfucker I see run a lie about me, I'm gonna sue your motherfucking ass. Yo, Chris Brown, bro, I'm, I'm disappointed in you. That's why I'm disappointed in you, man. For the simple fact, you need to get your straight, your, your, your facts straight. Bro, I ain't put out no excerpts. Nigga, you not even in my book, nigga. <laughs> I have nothing to write about you. What? That really, it wasn't even me on that Twitter when that shit happened in the first place? Like, niggas, like, niggas want to know that? That wasn't even me tweeting? I just had to come in and clean the shit up because niggas was on my Twitter? Like, come on, bro. I ain't got shit to say about you. I don't know nothing about your life. I don't know nothing about what you do, my nigga, but I respect you. I respect your talent. That's it, bro. They got us fucked up. Maybe because me and you haven't met each other first and hung around and stuff like that. And people probably put this different perception in your ear, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm a real nigga. That's why I like you. Real recognized, real. But come on, bro. Get your facts straight, man. You're a superstar, bro. This is your time. You know what I'm saying? So while your time is here, take advantage of it, my nigga. Period. You know what I'm saying? That's what they like in this world. They like divide and conquer, my nigga. My girl right here, she's sleep. Y'all niggas talking about all oh, red reds with some boyfriend. But my nigga, come on. Y'all niggas are smoking crack. I'm not gay. I don't like dudes. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> but if y'all want to keep talking about me, just make sure you spell my name right. Let me tell you, like, Ike Turner told me. Just get my name right. <laughs> Just spell it right. Dumbass niggas. What else? What else y'all got? Y'all got something else you want to talk about? Oh, Marcus Houston. Oh, you said you sued me? Oh, man, you sound like a dummy. Oh, yeah, we sued them. We won. You sued me. What the fuck did you get? Come on, man. You, you came into the thing with, with lawyers and scared with security, my nigga. Like, somebody's going to touch you. All oh, they have cameras and stuff. You old bitch ass nigga. You're a weenie nigga. You let gang punk you? You're a bitch, nigga. You're a bitch, my nigga. You're a bitch, my nigga. You're, you're really a bitch, nigga. And if you keep yapping that motherfucking shit, if I hear my motherfucking name in your mouth one more time, my nigga, I'm going to send somebody to handle that, nigga. So get scared. Let me see what y'all going to touch me. Oh, you're going to touch me. I'm in China, bitch. Come over here and get me if you can, motherfucker. Say my motherfucking name one more time, bitch. Say it, nigga. I dare you, nigga. I dare you, nigga. Oh, my mama, nigga. I dare you to say my motherfucking name again, bitch. Who else want to say something? Nigga, I got, I got a gang of shit I want to say, but nigga, I ain't going to say it. I'm going to write that shit in my motherfucking book that I've been planning on writing a book before I was even in B2K. Chris know it. Chris would ask me, so what type of things you going to say about me in my book? Nigga, I'm going to say that you're a motherfucking pedophile, nigga, and you molest kids, nigga. You molest Marcus Houston, immature, all them niggas, cuz. What? Ray J, for the record, cuz, I ain't put out no video on you, my nigga. You need to take that shit up with Ricky Rowe, my nigga. Something about you fucking his bitch, Destiny, or something. Some four, some red bluff show or some shit. I guess he got mad and took took the video from the people that was shooting and, and, and threw the video out. Whatever. That ain't none of my business. I wouldn't do no foul shit like that. Yo, Bow, I ain't got shit to say about you, my nigga. I ain't, I ain't got no beef with you, nothing. I have no beef with you, nigga. You know we fucking was downtown driving in a car. The car ran out of gas. Used to come over without spending that all the time, my nigga. It is what it is. But I do know this. I know Chris Stokes was trying to sick fizz on you. So... That's the truth. I do know that. But I tell you, I was a boss. I've never seen anything, so I can't speak on niggas that I don't know. And I wouldn't speak on niggas anyway, because that's just the, it's just not the code. And I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't understand why niggas like in my group would push me to a point where they just want to make themselves look good and discredit me, make me look like I'm crazy. Mm, you niggas are whack, my nigga. So, what else? I got something else I want to say, you dumb motherfuckers.